so we'll move on with the second module that is tools and methods that are used in cyber crime that is tools and methods used in cyber crime so this will be the fourth chapter in your textbook and uh, the second module of our syllabus okay so in the previous uh, module we had learned uh, about who can be a cyber criminal or how they plan to attack uh, or how they plan to perform a cyber offense all those things wherein we also said that cyber attack can be done on any individual or it can be done on the organization also right so these were the things what we had seen in the uh, previous module so in this particular uh, module we will be seeing about uh, or uh, our main thing is we are focusing about different types of attacks through which the attacker is going to target your computer system and also we are going to see the various tools and techniques or you can say different methodologies how the attacker will uh, launch an attack on his target okay his target can be either individual or it can be organization so that is what we are going to see in this particular module uh, along with that so here we can see so whenever uh, we say cyber crime where in in that case a computer system is uh, the most important thing right so there are many types how the attack can happen in this particular module few of them we will be seeing uh, that is uh, we are trying to understand how computer is an important tool for almost all the cyber crimes okay so that's what we are going to see in this particular uh, module that is tools and methods that are used in cyber crime so here uh, they saying in the introduction part as uh, internet and computer networks are integral part of information system yes internet and the computer network are the most important part of information system right so as an attacker he will have complete knowledge about the technology also or he needs to have complete knowledge about the technology so only if he knows how is a network then only he can try and find what might be the loophole in that network that's what we say the attacker will need to have complete or in depth knowledge about the technology so when you say he is a hacker when you say he is a hacker he is not a dumb person he knows he has the knowledge about the technology that's what here they're saying so network attack incidents reveal the attackers uh, are are often very systematic in launching their attacks or in other way network attack incidents whatever uh, attack has happened that is what uh, uh, i have also given you an assignment wherein you need to uh, find out how the different types of attack has happened okay uh they are going to give an idea uh reveal that attackers are often very systematic in launching their attack so uh, what is the meaning of this statement is so when you see what are the different types of attack that has happened previously we will come to a conclusion that it's not like the attacker has simply all of a sudden one day he sat and simply attacked your uh, uh, system or your uh, network no it reveals the attack reveals that attackers are often very systematic they are doing it in some step it's not like directly come no they are planning they are going through or they are following different steps step by step they are doing that is what the meaning of this particular statement are often very systematic in launching their attack it's not like one day uh, morning he woke up and he thought i'll attack and directly he came and attack no attack your network or your computer no he is planning that is systematic in launching their attack okay so here we are going to see the basic stages of attack uh, that is attacking or how the attacker plans to attack on a network so these are the basic stages of an attack on network so to begin with the first stage is nothing but initial uncovering sorry initial uncovering so what is the meaning of this so in the previous module we have already learned about a uh, few of the steps so some steps we are again once again we are going to uh, recall it okay in the first stage that is initial uncovering so this initial uncovering consists of two stages 
that is the first stage it is called as reconnaissance so this reconnaissance we have already learned in the previous uh, chapter so there we said whenever an attacker is trying to plan an attack suppose an individual only you assume so he is going to gather all the information about him about him or her okay uh, how he can gather those information either through social media or uh, if he is working in some organization he can go to that organization website and he can get his information that is uh, either the attacker can simply google and try to find some data or he can go to some social networking site like uh, we usually put all our details there right where we are working on what platform or something like that so social network also or if you are going to linkedin linkedin also details about the person will be there so uh, the attacker might try to get the information about his target either uh, through googling or he can go to some networking website or uh, there are many site like people find a site wherein he can get those information uh, that is the thing or any other public website or uh, through news article or if some uh, press release has been happened through all this means the attacker can gain or get the information about his target so that is called as reconnaissance so please understand as a story okay so what are we saying here is whenever an attacker is trying to plan an attack on your network he is going to follow some steps that is what the first stage that is called as initial uncovering so in the initial uncovering two stages are there in the first stage what we say that is reconnaissance so reconnaissance means what the attacker is trying to get all the information about his target so what are the different ways of getting the information either uh, through uh, googling that is either you can go to the particular person's uh, social network that is you can uh, check his uh, facebook or you can also go to his linkedin and you can check where he is working what he is working as all those things so that is the first stage okay that is reconnaissance Hmm. so the second stage what happens so the second that is two stages we said in that first one is reconnaissance second one is uncovers information on company's ip so first stage we said that we got uh, we are trying to gain all the information right about the target so in the second step the attacker uncovers as much information as possible on the company's internal network like what is what is the internet domain or what is what are the machine names or uh, what is the company's internet protocol address range all this information okay so that is what happens in the second step so uh, if you are saying from the prevention perspective in this particular stage uh, the company person or the target uh, he is he cannot detect the attackers because the attacker has still not done anything harm to him he is just gathering all the information right so at this stage uh, the uh, target won't come to know that he is being attacked or an attacker is trying to get his information target won't be knowing all this because still the attacker has not done any harm to the target okay that is the first step that is initial uncovering which consists of two stages reconnaissance and uncovers information on company's ip reconnaissance like uh, about the employee detail you can collect all the information whereas uncovering information on company's ip is nothing but wherein the attacker is trying to get the range of ip address of the company or machine names okay all those things so that comes under uh, the second stage here. now second stage in the sense in the first stage second step okay so now we'll go to the second stage that is network probe so in this particular uh, step the attacker uses more uh, what you can say he is trying to get into that is we can say invasive technique to scan the information so usually a uh, ping sweep that is usually a ping sweep of the network ip address is performed wherein we are trying to get the potential target and after that uh, 
Port scanning also can be done. That is, port scanning tools are available through which you can scan the port. This is used to discover uh, what are the services that are running on the target system. So, that is about your network probe wherein ping sweep as well as port uh, scanning can be done. So, again at this stage, attacker has still not done anything harm to the target system. So, again the uh, target won't be knowing that uh, some illegal activity is uh, pl getting planned against him. That is the next uh, stage that is network probe. And in the third stage that is crossing the line towards electronic crime or crossing the line towards e-crime. So now what happens the attacker is uh, towards committing what you can say uh, he is towards going into attack the target or you can say attacker is towards committing what you can say as a computer crime or a cyber crime also you can say uh, he does this by exploiting any possible uh, holes or you can say any loopholes that is there in the target system so how will the attacker get to know what are the possible loopholes that is what we said in the previous steps so in the first two steps what and all he has done he has collected all the information about the target along with that the system's information also system information here in the sense ip range what are the machines all those he has connect, uh, collected and along with that network probe also he has done so when he has done all the steps he will try or he will get an idea about what are the possible vulnerabilities or what are the possible loopholes that are there in your target system so the attacker usually goes through several stages of exploits to gain access to the system so it's that is what we said it's not like all of a sudden one day he woke up and he said he's thinking that uh, i will attack or i have attacked no all this process is done okay so that is what in the third step he will be moving into uh, attacking that is uh, yes wahib mute yourself okay so he is uh, going into uh, attack the computer system okay so how because in these two previous stages, he, he is getting to know what are the loopholes in the target system. So here also, uh, the attacker is going to exploit or in the sense exploit uh, usually can be done through the CJ script and also about buffer uh, overflow that we'll see in the later uh, classes about buffer overflow. So that's what, uh, but the easiest way how the attacker can gain entry is by uh, checking default login accounts which is having very easy passwords so it can happen that some of them uh, usually give password like one two three four or something so the attacker he will try to find all the different possible uh, combinations and if he is getting any uh, passwords like that which are easily uh, which can be easily cracked then he can easily gain access to the target system so once the attacker are able to access a user account uh, without many privileges they will attempt further still they continue to exploit to get an administrative or administrative or also you can say root access right so that is what it's like series of steps that has happened it's not like all of a sudden uh, he is trying and getting access so he will try to find any user who is having uh, whose account can be easily uh, gained access to and also he will try to get uh, access of the root account so when you say root means uh, some system privileges will be there all those things right so root is usually we can say uh, administrator or super user access and if he gets access to this he can grant them privilege to do anything on the system right so that is what happens in the third step that is crossing the line toward uh, electronic crime and the next step is capturing the network so in this particular stage attacker uh, attempts to get control on the network or attempts to own the network 
so that is what happens in the fourth step capturing the network means he is trying to be the owner of that network or attempts to own the network okay so the attacker uh, gains control over the internal network uh, he can gain it quickly as well as uh, easily when he has got so how he might do uh, he might get this by compromising any uh, low priority target system once he has done this the next step what he is going to do is he is trying to remove any evidence of the attack so that's what he has gained the access now what he wants to do uh, make sure that nobody else gets to know that uh, the network has been attacked so that is what he is try he will try to remove any evidence of the attack the attacker uh, usually he will install a set of tools that replace the existing files uh, as well as services with some trojan files trojan files and the services that have some backdoor password so overall what he is going to do is he is trying to delete the evidence of what has happened okay so once the attacker has gained access on one system uh, he will then try to repeat the process uh, using uh, system as a stepping stone and access other system he is trying he will try to get access to other systems in the network okay so that is what happens in the fourth step that is capturing the network wherein the attacker is trying to get control or tries to own the network and once he is once he has owned the network he is trying to uh, what you can say um what you can say he is once he has get he has got the ownership of the account or once he has owned the network he is trying to remove all the evidence or hide all the evidence that uh, the network has been uh, compromised or somebody has got uh, got into the network and in the next step that is grabbing the data now the attacker what he has done he has got or uh, owned the network that is now the attacker has captured the network you can see and uh, once he has captured the network he takes the advantage of his uh, position and what he is going to do he is trying to steal or he will try to steal some information some confidential information or data and he might also try to get uh, some customer credit card information or he might try to uh, if any web page is there he might try to change it or he might try to alter all those things he can uh, do this he can do all these things which will cause some potential uh, expense as well as uh, the owner of that particular network obviously uh, some expense might incur to him wherein we have to uh, nullify all those tasks and also the actual owner of the network might also come into an embarrassing situation wherein uh, if the attacker has uh, suppose usually an organization when, when you say they have their own website so if the attacker has put some unwanted things some defaming defaming things then uh, the organization owners will usually be embarrassed with the situation right or the entire organization all those things can might happen okay and in the sixth step that is covering the tracks so this is a last step uh, in any cyber attack so here what happens uh, we can say uh, this step refers to the activities which are uh, done by the attacker to extend the misuse of the system he can still continue using the system that is misuse misuse in the sense for his purpose he can use the system and he, nobody even gets to know he is continuously using without being detected the attacker can remain undetected for even long period or use this phase either to start a uh, fresh uh, sorry uh, this might go in for a long period of time wherein the user won't even know so many cases so usually happens uh, somebody is gaining access uh, if you're saying wi-fi we somebody who has not used any username and password we try to use it uh, it might go for any long period unknowing to that particular owner of that wi-fi right so same thing here also the attacker might try to misuse the system 
wherein the organization may not even know that uh, their data has been or somebody some attacker has been using their uh, network okay so that is what so this can also be used by the attacker to perform some uh, reconnaissance again to target some other uh, to or to find some other target so this can continue so that is what happens in covering the attack so this is an important question what are the basic stages of an attack on the network okay so this is an important question so different stages initial uncovering wherein uh, we say information about the target is found and also uh, in terms of companies ip range all those are connect uh, collected network probe find uh, ping sweep is done and also uh, port scanning wherein we are finding what are the services provided then uh, crossing the line towards electronic crime so first two stages the target won't be knowing that he is being uh, trying to be attacked where in the third stage uh, the actual attack happens wherein uh, the attacker uh, gets into or uh, gets to uh, some random password he will try and he'll try to get in to some account and also he might try to get the access of admin also and fourth step is capturing the network uh, wherein the uh, attacker will own the network and uh, he will also make sure that he goes undetected grabbing the data collecting the information you can say of the customer or some confidential data that is there all those information are collected finally the last one is covering the track covering the tracks uh, or covering the attacks also you can say or tracks also you can say wherein um, the attacker is continuing to do his job uh, without being detected and uh, that same task what is doing now he can also use it for reconnaissance in later stages okay so during the entire process of all this the attacker takes maximum care to hide his identity from the first step itself okay so from the beginning itself what will the attacker do he will be very careful that he is not detected so that is one thing what you should remember so this is an important question so please make a note of it basic stages of an attack on network okay here we have uh, various tools and techniques used to launch attack against the target or uh, just some terms you'll see some of the terms here that is first one is scareware so uh, scareware is nothing but it comprises of uh, several uh, classes of some scam software so you might have come across uh, when you access any page or uh, uh, yeah, usually some web page you try to access then you might get some information as or you might get some pop up usually it comes as a pop up advertisement or banners uh you might get a message as your computer may be infected or your mobile might be infected with a harmful spyware program so immediate uh, removal of the spyware is required so to scan you click s yes. this kind of messages will come across so this is nothing but your scareware means they are trying to scare the user and we are making him uh, click on that s yes. so when he has clicked on this uh, yes he will be directed to another page wherein uh, his details might be collected his personal information might be collected so that is what your scareware which consists of some scam software which are sold to the consumers via some unethic unethical uh, marketing practices so what is that unethical marketing practices that is usually when you uh, access some page some banner or some pop up message come saying that your phone is been infected or your uh, computer is been infected by uh, harmful uh, spyware uh, so you have to uh, do an immediate action like you have to remove it immediately so click below yes like that so that is called as your scareware next one is um, malvertising so again this is a malicious advertising that is malvertising that is malware plus advertising again it is an online uh, criminal method that appears focus on uh, installation of some unwanted or uh, outright 
software through which uh, through the use of internet as well as some advertising media network wherein exchanges uh, contents can happen so here in this case what happens is the cyber criminals attempt to distribute some malware through some advertising so usually when you try to search for some free software that time we uh, possibility of being attacked by this is more wherein some software they are giving it for free of course means we usually try to download it so it can happen that along with the software we are also downloading some malware so that is about your malvertising next one is click jacking and click jacking again this is also a malicious technique of uh, tricking us okay uh, into revealing confidential information uh, that is your personal data uh, we will uh, that is they make us to give us a personal information and uh, it can also happen that they may try to take control of the system by clicking on some web pages so click jacking takes the form of embedded code or it can be a script which is executed without our knowledge okay without our knowledge some script get executed so cyber criminal are going to take advantage of any possible loopholes that is there across the browser and uh, the platform also to launch uh, this type of attack uh, like you might have come across some situation wherein uh, you are clicking on a button that uh, appears to perform another function okay so that is about your click jacking so when you click on it is going to perform some other task and the last one here is ransomware so it is nothing but a computer malware that uh, gains control or it is going to hold your computer system or the data what is there in your system and uh, it's like they don't allow you to access any of the data so if you want to get access to your data then you have to pay some ransom so that is what uh, we have given as assignment also to you so that thing you can write okay so it typically what does it do is it propagates as a computer worm entering a system okay and once it has entered your system it is going to control all your data uh, without allowing you to access so here uh, for example you can say vulnerability in a network uh, service or uh, it can happen that some email attachment also wherein when you click on either in your uh, network some issue might be there or you have clicked on some email attachment that time what happens uh, it may then disable an essential uh, system service or it may also lock the display at the system startup itself okay and it may it will encrypt all the personal files and if you want to gain access of this file then uh, you need to pay some uh, payment has to be done to the attacker either by sending a message or uh, like that usually they say in uh, bitcoins you have to pay so or they might also say that if you want to get the data then you have to buy this tool uh, by a decrypting or removal tool so if you have to pay some amount for that tool so that is about your ransomware okay so this is all about uh, the first topic of your uh, second module uh, that is initial stages of an attack on network okay so we'll continue in the afternoon